Bon 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 means good, good, good. So the idea is that it's sincerely good chocolate. A Bon Bon is like a goodie. So making Bon Bons already means we're making something delicious and people have an idea of what it is, but making Bon Bon Bons means they're extra good in terms of the way that we source them and the way we make them and the ingredients that we're putting into them. Chocolate's really the only thing I've ever been passionate about or really interested in or like dug into as a medium. And so as soon as I figured out that being a chocolatier was something that I could even do, as soon as those dots were connected, that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. And so from the moment that I had that first piece of chocolate that made sense to me as like a piece of art where somebody was really trying to convey a flavor to you and, and have an experience, it was, there was nothing else that I could have even imagined to do. We were able to create this shop and, and it opened with one little tiny store and just me as an employee and our neighbors would come by and they'd knock on the door and they would be like, hey, welcome to the neighborhood. It smells good in here. And, and they'd ask if they could buy some chocolate. And at the time we were only shipping it out to other big hotels and things like that. And next thing you know, my neighbor was like coming over and saying, you have to, it's time. You have to open a storefront. You have to start being available to the public. The first day we were open, we had a line that went around the block and we paid our rent for the year. Um, and it's been insanity pretty much ever since. Um, the first whole year that we were in business, I don't think we would have actually physically survived without neighbors dropping off leftovers and spaghetti and whatever they had made. And um, I think there's not a lot of communities um, that are as tight knit as Hamtramck. And I don't think a community shop that's like Bon 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 would have been able to launch nationally the way that it has without having come from a community that's like that. So Hamtramck has uh, different kinds of variation and we have a variation with our chocolate too. So it's connected, like the whole thing is connected, like too much. I mean. Totally. It <laughs> yeah. feels like a conversation, like, yeah. it, like we'll put out a chocolate and then you hear what the customers think about uh -huh. it and then it gives you another idea of what you want to do with the next thing or how we can improve it or it feels like a back and forth in a lot of ways is creative place like it's um, full of variation how it looks how it tastes and our work environment is full of fun we have lots of fun each and every moment um, the nice thing about Bon 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 is that our staff has a lot of really diverse experiences and so what we bring to the table in terms of having ideas for flavors we want to make or collections that we want to do um, the interpretations of even one ingredient can be completely different between two people having the same conversation. So I think that helps us to have the more eclectic flavors that we have, but even put a pretty interesting or even more delicious spin on the more normal stuff. I think we just want people to leave so happy and confident, especially when they're buying a gift. I feel like being a chocolatier is somewhere in between being somebody's bartender and being their jeweler. Like they don't come in if it's just like, oh, I'll grab a beer about it, but it's not like buying diamonds. But that space in between is still really important mm -hmm. in a community and to a person. And so when they leave feeling like they picked out exactly the right thing for a first date or to bring to you know their boyfriend's parents' house or for a baby shower or whatever it is, everybody needs it for something different. And when they leave feeling really good and excited and happy and mm -hmm. like they've been able to express themselves through what we create, that feels really cool. That's really good. From my part, I'd say happiness and uh, satisfaction. Like when they come, you could see like uh, the environment, they really like it and you can see the joy on their face.